Ah, uh, hello everyone, and welcome back to, to Nancy Drew Let's Plays with a Dead Guy. Uh, this is number 22 already, uh, Trail of the Twister, which unfortunately is not one of my favorites in the series. Uh, I find it a little bit slow and not super interesting, but hopefully we're going to make it interesting anyway um, Hi, as we I'm go Nancy through this. PG Yes. PG Krollmeister okay, let her read the case. To investigate a series of equipment meltdowns God, that have been plaguing the prominent you look like Oklahoma a 50-year-old alcoholic. Team sponsors. You need some help there? Since his team has been expected to win the $100 Mystery should be about how to send Scott to AA. The upcoming Green Sky Storm Competition. Looking rough. Krollmeister Looking like me on a Monday morning. Far more sinister than simple equipment failure going on. Mm. I'll be joining the team undercover, replacing their previous intern Pete who wound up with a broken leg after one of the accidents stranded him directly in the path of a storm. Get fucked, Pete. Stepping in at the most dangerous and chaotic period of the chase season, I'm going to have to keep my wits about me to stay on top of the sabotage and the storms. So, yeah, pretty simple mystery. It's just, um... A tornado, storm chasing team, um... There have been a lot of accidents recently, and you have to go in there and try and find out if the accidents are being caused by someone or something, or if they're just accidental. And of course, this being an Nancy Drew game, you can pretty much guarantee that there is something behind it. They're not just randomly happening. Um, it's been a while since we looked at this scrapbook, actually. Brief glance through it. Terrible picture of Henry Bolet. Basically, Creek. Ooh, that toasty pack. It's gonna leak all over the fucking thing and ruin your book. Yeah, previous games in the series. I have Let's Plays on all of them, so if you're curious about any of them that you haven't played or seen before, um, you can search them out. But otherwise, it's just, yeah, a brief kind of synopsis of what happened in the games. Um, it obviously doesn't spoil anything. It just kind of tells you what they're about and stuff. So once again, gonna do Junior. Usual. Aw, oh, shit. Whoa, oh my gosh. God hates Kansas and he's gonna rip the whole place up. Coming through. Jesus. Yeah, it's just getting soaked out here with some poor rain. Can we go in here? Oh, oh I guess we can. Shit. I thought we wouldn't be able to yet. So this is like the farm field house we're kind of staying at, I guess, for the... For the, um... Remainder of the game. Jesus. That car got absolutely destroyed. Um, and this is kind of their workshop slash barn kind of thing. I'm guessing they don't let you look around a whole lot. At the beginning, modern day land rush. Last year, three men sneaked onto Canute's main campus under the cover of darkness and slipped a tow rope around Harrison J. Bison, Canute's beloved mascot. Seconds later, the hundred year old statue was torn from his foundation. The next morning, students and staff alike were surprised to see Canute Commons standing strangely empty. It wasn't the work of vandals as many first suspected, but instead the result of another problem all too common on college campuses today. Rising real estate prices and flagging endowments. No longer the proud guardian of central campus, Harrison J. Bison now stands at the corner of 8th Street and Mason, just across from the student union. They put him in front of the bike rack, which makes, like, zero sense, said sophomore Kyle Stapling. I can't put my bike there anymore because there's a giant metal bison in the way. Stapling is not the only one annoyed by the move. They took down our cherished mascot, paved the commons, and replaced it with a strip mall, said junior Martin Applewright. I mean, that says something about the school's priorities right there. I'm guessing when I finally get my diploma, it'll have a 10 cent off coupon for steak billies printed on the back. Hey, it's fucking better than I got with my diploma. I had to pay for my fucking grad gown to walk across the stage. They didn't even give us our grad gowns for free. You had to rent that shit for like 30 bucks for the hour or two that you were wearing it. Garbage. 
The sad reality is, says Dr. Marianne Madazro, Dean of Economics and Chair of the Committee for Sustainable Growth, as enrollment levels are off and the day-to-day costs of running the college rises, something's got to give. Our decision to bring businesses onto the main campus was not popular, but it was a financial necessity. While the leasing of the university property has helped to push the budget towards the black, Canute stu- uh, still has quite a few cuts ahead. The key word here is land. In the past, we were able to finance off-campus properties for research, continued Dr. Medrazzo. But those days are coming to an end. We're looking to restructure how programs like our meteorology field research team or our agricultural innovation team utilize off-site resources. If we are unable to find corporate sponsors to help subsidize the costs of maintaining the real estate, we will have no choice but to sell the properties. When asked if the relocation of Harrison J. Bison was indicative of a general shift towards profit over educational opportunities, Dr. Madrazo was adamant. No, no, and no. It's just the opposite. This may come as a shock, but Harrison J. Bison's move was never meant to imply that students are being relegated to the sidelines in favor of businesses. Despite her positive forecast for Canute College, Dr. Madrazo is willing to admit one regret. To be perfectly honest, though, it just really wasn't the smartest idea to put Harry in front of the bike rack. That's where the bikes go. Amazing. What a great use of my time. Oh, it is still starting out. Okay, I think that's literally the only thing we can look at in here. Um, we'll be back later, but for now we gotta go back out in the storm. I don't think we can get back in our car. But we can. Jesus, we can go like literally fucking anywhere. Okay. But I suppose we should probably get this game started and head in and talk to some people. Oh. Okay, let's clean up this guy's garbage, I guess. That's a weird piece of debris. It's chew. Whoa, it's filled with money. God damn, someone just leaving this out, hey? Once again, amazing job. Thanks, payment. I better closed. take this and see who it belongs to. Take all this money. Better take this and pocket it. Hooray! So, in this rural Kansas farmhouse. Sorry we missed you, we're out chasing. The wind shear readings are strong enough that there may be a possible tornado forming to the north. Until our return, I'd like you to familiarize yourself a bit with our operation. Please take the tornado quiz on the computer in the cellar. Don't worry, we don't care how you score. But I care how I score. Also, there's a stack of papers in the dining room that needs to be filed away in the cabinet. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. You'll have to use my ordering system... But I've left notes for you on how it works, and you'll want to drive down the street to Ma and Pa's general store to meet Pa. There's a GPS in the car. You'll like him. He's quite the character. Thanks for filling in the last notice. I look forward to meeting you in person. And Debbie. Yeah, so being from uh, Saskatchewan, Canada, we kind of are like the Kansas of the U.S., I guess, or the Kansas of, of Canada. So I have actually seen a couple tornadoes in my lifetime. None of them very close, but I've seen a few. Nothing here. So I'm supposed to... What did the note even say? I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, did she pick it up? I mean, filing cabinets, I heard. And tornado quiz. And apparently go down to this general store. Okay, they're not here. Previously on Are You a Detective? Andrew Morris, you are not a detective. Uh huh. Oh, WWB, what a callback. Jesus, callback to game two? I'm impressed. Ah, oh, gross. Get it out of here. Okay, so the TV doesn't work. <laughs> what, a, what a great place. Amazing. Um, I'm assuming they leave notes here for people. But I don't think any of it's super important. Um, well, let's get to filing, I guess, because I think we have to do that. Bird seed everywhere. I'm assuming this is the filing. Looks like it. Please file. Use my filing system. I've written the instructions to the right. Thanks, Debbie. Why can't you just tell me what colors they are? 
Uh, and this is another problem with this game is it's going to be a lot like number 10. It's not as bad as number 10, but like number 10, Secret of Shadow Ranch, it's a lot of busy work that really has nothing to do with the mystery. I mean, at least in this game, it doesn't um, hinder you from driving around to other places, which is why I think this one's better than number 10, but it still suffers a lot from um, just kind of useless chores that you don't really want to do because they're not great and they're not exciting. Okay, so this shit is immediately next to this one. Uh, shit. This is gonna be a little bit of a task, okay? This to the left of that is immediately next to that. Okay. Which one's on the edge? Because then I can start doing these things. It's to the left of S, so S can't be in the red. It's not this one. Okay, I think this one might be here. Which makes it immediately next to this one. This one is immediately next to it. Okay. So then we got... R. Is immediately next to R. Is to the left of S. Okay, so I think this one has to be here. Like this? I'd better try again. Oh, fuck off. What's wrong with it? Ah. <sighs> Canute is to the right. It is. It is immediately next to this one, which it is. This one is to the left of this, which it is. Oh. Okay. Yeah, this is immediately next. And this one's immediately next to it. Okay, so I think that all works out. This one is to the oh, because this one has to be to the right of it. So maybe these two are switched around. All right, got there it. There we go. Okay, I just read that backwards. Perfect. Okay, so that's done. I'm not like again, like I get nothing out of that. It doesn't give me a clue or anything. It's just something to do because why not? I guess. Um. Weather maps that we can't look at yet. Uh, can I get to the other side of the kitchen or look on the desk? Jesus, you're kind of limited in what you can do here right off the start, aren't you? Okay. I don't think you can go upstairs at, I can't go at to all. Yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why not? Fuck you guys, I'm going to sleep. I didn't sign up for any of this bullshit. Okay, so there's the, the quiz, the computer quiz. Um, mice. I agreed oh to tornadoes, God. but I did not sign up for mice. It's a mouse. That's fine. Thank you. Okay, I'm guessing friends of the development team or something. Um, this is going to come into play later, I believe, the emergency disaster kit. Service charts. No idea what this means. Probably is going to come in later in the game, I'm sure. Um, what's this? Just in from Germany. Nearly brand new. 2008 Peregrine mileage. 
Fully loaded in 0 to 60 in mere seconds. Only $43,900. Come down and test drive today. Drive is like a dream, if only. So someone wants some fast cars, I guess. Someone wants money, don't we all? Okay. Um, so... Can't check that okay. off yet. Okay, finish the filing. Haven't done that. What? Still have to do that. Can't check that off yet. Still have to do that. Oh, okay, is there more filing to do that I missed or something? Go check that out later. Um... Uh... The Venetian Garden. Squirrels. Mel's dorm. A little weird that you'd have that on your phone. The, oh, the Hardy Boys. At least it's not the awful picture of Joe. They knew. Ah, uh, let's keep the white wolf with a green background. Nice. Yes. Uh, who can we call? Krollmeister, Frank and Joe Hardy, and that's it. Bess isn't even in the game. Get fucked, Bess. Good stuff. Uh, you can look at some storms here. And that's not really where a tornado is going to form, but sure. I need to connect my phone first. Oh, I see. We're going to have to upload storms at some point. I think it's clouds, if I remember correctly. Okay. Let's see how poor... Let's see how poor uh, I do on this. When a tornado has been spotted, I think it's a tornado alert. Because warning is, is like the first one. Fuck. Tornado watch... Okay, I thought maybe a tornado watch is the first one. A tornado warning means a tornado has been confirmed on the ground or the Doppler radar is showing circulation where a tornado could form. A tornado watch is issued when conditions for tornadoes or severe weather to form are possible. Okay, so watch is the first one they give out if it could possibly happen. A warning is when it's like, yeah, it's imminent. It's coming down. Nice. Majority of tornadoes occur in the area known as Tornado Alley. Includes Oklahoma, Texas, Kansas, Missouri, and Illinois. Weather in this region is ideal for tornadoes to form. Um, the F scale. Yes. The Fujita scale categorizes wind speeds. F0 minor winds to F5. 262 to 300 miles per hour and total destruction. Uh-huh, there's an EF scale, which better accounts for type of building material used in structures. Ratings are only given to tornadoes after damage has been assessed, not during the tornado itself. So, Twister's completely wrong. The least safe place to seek shelter in a public place during a tornado is... Um, an interior corridor, maybe? Large room. Yeah. Large open areas should be avoided. Lack of roof support. Public areas. Storm shelters. Yes. Wonderful. A disaster kit. A party kit? Hell yeah. You should party it up while the tornado's coming down. Contains all the essentials. Basic staples to household tools to first aid kits. Items such as water, sugar, salt, granola bars, batteries, flashlight, can opener, toothpaste, duct tape, and bleach. Bleach, that's a weird one. And we will have to make a disaster kit at some point. Is not indicative of a possible tornado. Downburst? Rotating clouds? I don't know. Okay. A downburst is a different type of severe weather event. All of its winds flow out, whereas a tornado's winds flow into the tornado itself. Downbursts are difficult to predict. It can cause severe damage due to how strong, to strong straight line winds. Jesus, how long is this? On average, what percent of tornadoes each year rank is either an EF4 or EF5? Like 1%. I think it's really low. Yeah, it's a pretty rare occurrence. 80% are EF0 or EF1. The highest recorded wind speed 
1999, clocked in at 318 miles per hour. Jesus Christ. Some rough shit. What causes most injuries? Flying debris, getting hit in the face with chairs and rickety boards. While extreme high winds are a danger, it's nothing compared to the flying debris being carried at them. At speeds of 200 miles per hour, common household items picked up by the tornado become deadly missiles. Fire and boards at your face. Hell yeah! Look at me getting these right. And then you can go do those again if you want, but God, do I not care right now. Oh, looks like someone's Check. home. Nancy, is that you? No. Yes, that's me. Haven't Scott done that. Scott wants to meet you. Be right there. I just, I finished the filing. Oh, Nancy fuck. Drew, you made it. God. I'm Scott Varnell, the person in charge of this meteorological train wreck. Welcome aboard. You look, like, depressed as shit, Scott. Did you see what the happened? tornado? What tornado? Thanks to the lousy equipment that uncle of yours stuck us with, we Damn. just spent the last hour chasing down a bunch of cumulonimbi barely capable of spawning a spring shower, let alone a tornado. Was Wait a minute. Did you see a tornado? Well, yeah. As I was driving up to the farmhouse, it wasn't that big, but it sure threw a lot of debris around. Good fuck, Scotty. Well, isn't that just peachy? We spend hours racing all over the countryside, and where's all the action? Right in our own backyard. We're never going to win this thing. The school's going to pull the plug on us, sell the farm, and that's going to be all she wrote. God, it's Scott. all Krollmeister's fault for saddling us with a bunch of bush league junk. You sound, but now that you sound here, like a little depressed teen. Change. You'll be reporting We're never to win that make no mistake. I call the shots around here. In fact, call two things you need to do right off the bat. I gotta give a workshop on tornado preparedness at the junior high school next week, so I put a sample disaster that. kit together for me. If anything's missing, go up the road to Mon Paws and get it there. What goes into a disaster kit? Look, a beer. You're Several here because beers, that rich uncle of yours said you could do the right. job, so be a little resourceful and just do it, okay? If you need a nanny, have your uncle send one. We don't have the budget. God, this guy's a dick. Second thing you need to do is redesign Scotty. the warning siren layout for the local community. They just got a set of new sirens, and their range is different, so the town asked me, and now I'm telling you, to figure out where to place them so if there is a tornado, everyone will be within earshot of a siren. Oh, that sucks. All the information you need is on the chart in the other room. You have questions about anything, bug Debbie, not me. Nice meeting you. Scott's a dickhead. Um, common theme with these games is dickheads. Oh my god. Do we want to read this? I really don't. There used to be Ma and Pa's General Store, but now it's just Pa's General Store, because Ma is fucking dead. I believe. Yes. A familiar cherry red pickup. Damn, she died in a tornado? That's rough. She was the glue that held this town together. Rough, rough, rough stuff. Scott. Back already? What did you mean when you said before that the school would sell the farm if you lose? Just what I said. Right now, Canute College offsets the cost of maintaining this place with funds from private companies like the Healy Healy. But apparently that money's about to dry up, so if Malachi we don't win this competition, there goes the farm. Give it to somebody else. Do you remember that interview you gave after Ma died? Nope. Why do you ask? I read it, and it seems like well, a lot has changed for you over the last few years. What's that supposed to mean? It means you're a depressed you bum, You sounded much dude. more excited about your work. Yeah, well, that's the reality of life, Nancy. Life fucking you don't sucks, You honestly Nancy. think life gets more exciting as you age, do you? Because it doesn't. Dreams fade, hearts get broken, friends get too lost in their own lives to call. Damn. Trust me, enjoy your youth while you have it, kid. Because the downhill ride, it ain't fun. Speaking some that's truth. That's not true. <laughs> now I see why Debbie speaks so highly of you. Optimists of a feather. Tell you what, I'll admit that you just may be right. I hope you're right. I just don't think you are. Let's switch topics, all right? This has been a long enough trip down memory. Let you get to work, Scott. I'll let you get back to work. Some what heavy else? stuff going on in the corner. I didn't even realize it gave an interview in here. Where is that? Ah, Scott Varnell. She sat me down the day I moved into town and asked me a million questions, said Denise Miller. 
What were my hobbies where I was from? It was a real third degree. Okay, I know. Well, it's not that simple, unfortunately, said Canute College storm researcher Scott Rennell. No one knows exactly what causes tornadoes to form. There are a lot of theories out there, but we're still years away from being able to accurately predict where the storms will touch down. No stranger to working out in the field, Varnell has made his career as one of the nation's foremost tornado experts. You may be familiar with what happened in Kearney a few years back. That's why I'm here today. When those storms rolled in, the whole town was caught off guard. If we had been able to get advanced warning, a lot of lives could have been saved. Varnell drops a large binder of storm data on the table. I had the information to give warning for this storm, said Varnell, but I couldn't figure out what it meant in time. None of us can, yet. As a tracker, Varnell is among those responsible for giving advanced storm warnings. That can sometimes mean the difference between life and death. All we have, said Varnell, is warning. There is nothing we can do once the storm is on the ground. Storm trackers, like myself included have a responsibility to make sure that what happens to Betsy never happens again. I won't stop until we have a forecasting system that truly works. And then he stopped and gave up because he sucks. Can look at anything around here? No. That tornado you just saw. <sighs> What'd you think? God damn it. What I'm trying to mean? leave, Scott. Were you excited? <laughs> Terrified? Did it make you want to go home? What? No, but she makes Actually, me that go tornado home. is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life, and I can't wait to see another one. Now that's what I like to see. I wish I could get that sort of enthusiasm out of my students these days. Between <sighs> you and me, the last few years I've gotten stuck with the worst students. I could be telling them about the most exciting storms on record, and all I get back is a sea of bored faces. Uh -huh. Before they defunded my department, I got the best of the best. Students who really cared, like Debbie. But those days are over. Damn. That must really be disappointing. What are you, like, 18? Do me a favor, kid. Don't talk to me about disappointment till you've lived long enough to experience it firsthand. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Nancy. That was... I know you meant well. Anyway, good news is it looks like weather conditions for the next two weeks are going to be ideal for tornado genesis. Which means we could be in for a record-breaking string of tornadoes. You may be putting that enthusiasm to good use. Uh, I sure hope so. Hello, Nancy. I'll let you get back to work. Fine by me. Uh huh. What do we got here? Ah, tornadoes. Look at these. Look at these wonderful things. Damn, those F5s go in a lot of places, don't they? Damn. Is this in Oklahoma, not in Kansas? Shit. Have I been making fun of Kansas the whole time and this actually takes place in Oklahoma? I'm sorry, Kansas. Shit, it is Oklahoma. Look at that. Well, now I feel like a fucking idiot. <laughs> sorry to anybody who lives in Kansas. Can't turn out the lights on Scott. It should have been Oklahoma I was uh, shitting all over. Um, okay, so Scott is Scott. I can't turn oh. in. I still have stuff to do. I didn't mean to do that. Turn your ass around. Check. Can't check that off yet. Haven't done that. Why haven't I finished the filing? Does she have more for me? Ah, uh, Debbie. Nancy, hi. You've met Scott, the project leader. It's a hairline right I'm there. Debbie, the project manager. Do you know why Scott is in such a bad mood? Because he sucks. I've worked with him for the past five years, and believe it or not, that's his normal mood. When he's in a bad mood, yikes. Why are you still working with him? You've worked with him for five years? I just got my doctorate in meteorology from Canute College. Hmm. From the day I walked into Scott's Theories of Tornado Genesis class, I was hooked. I've been on his chase team in one capacity or another ever since. <sighs> you must be pretty easy going. I've just learned how to read Scott and deal with his idiosyncrasies, that's all. Like all the equipment malfunctions we've been experiencing. Mm. Let's just say that Scott is extremely good at misdirecting blame. Mm. You think the problems are really Scott's fault? But hey, I could be wrong. <laughs> He's in the other room, the door's still open. something you'll never hear him say. Anyway, first thing every morning, I'll brief you on what has to be done that day. Uh. As for the rest of today... Take Those two jobs Scott gave you, get them done. Uh, Pretty much everything he says in there, I can hear out here. So why are we talking He's about Scott exactly right here at the table when the, the door is the open right there? In the living room. And that computer quiz He's going to peek his head out. He's going to be like, you, you shit's talking about me? What's going missing, on? You can go to Mom Pa's general store up the road and buy them. Just purchase wisely. Our budget Doesn't is very wise. limited. 
And if you haven't introduced yourself to Pa or finished the filing, please do so. And once you're done with all that, Go to you sleep. can head out to the cornfield and fix the sprinkler system. Ah, fix wonderful. The sprinkler system? You should get these See, people in touch with Ed and Bet Raleigh. On were donated to Canute as a research Exchange facility. tips. The chase team gets it during tornado season. The agricultural teams here the rest of the year, so we've agreed mm. to maintain whatever projects they've got going in their absence. Right now, what they're do in the I middle care? of collaborating on something with this big mucky muck research center in Hawaii. Which is just another way of saying, fix those sprinklers ASAP. Why is there a file in the cabinet labeled Grange Theater? Theater's kind of a passion with me. Mm. So when I got here at the beginning of tornado season, I found out the Grange needed a stage manager for the play it's putting on, and volunteered for the job, and soon became the sound and lighting director as well, which means when I'm not here or out in the field, I'm uh, there. Perfect. It sounds like you keep pretty busy. Small town you don't even theater, know the good stuff. It. We're approaching final dress for the Grange's big play of the year. Everyone from around here shows up. You should ask Pa about it. He's got much more of a passion for the stage than you'd oh, expect from a man does. in overalls. I bet he does. What goes in the disaster kit again? You don't remember? No, sorry. To tell you the truth, I have to look up a lot of things myself some days. Check the computer, that should help you out. Yes. I found this box out front when I arrived. Thought maybe I better turn it in. Wow. There must be a couple hundred dollars in here. Why didn't you keep it? Could have spent it on equipment for this shitty place. Thanks. Payment enclosed. You don't know whose it is? No idea. I heard you tell Scott about seeing that tornado, so my guess is the Twister carried it in from somewhere else. Maybe even somewhere miles from here. I'd feel uh, better if you kept it. Sure. When I get a chance, I'll call the sheriff and report it. That's it for now. Okay. Oh, and thanks for driving that car up here for us. That was a big help. See ya. What car? My car? My car is not... Okay, what do I need to do here still? Oh, shit. Oh, I did. I didn't even realize these are on top of here. Grange Theater, Canute College, Findings, Findings, Degree, Animals, and a Cocoa hmm, Pringle Bar. Looks like garbage. Don't need this. There we go. Corn bags? Who keeps laying corn around here? I just saw a mouse over here. I've been seeing more and more of them. Why are you not sweeping up the fucking corn then on the ground? Fucking gross. What's up? Would you happen to know who threw out the sales receipt for dried corn that's in the wastebasket over there? Dried corn? Why would anyone around here buy dried corn? To make the little piles of dried corn I keep finding around here, they look a lot more man-made than mouse-made. Are you suggesting someone has been deliberately feeding the mice? I think someone's been trying to lure them inside. Everyone on this team has his quirks, that is for sure. But deliberately mm. causing a mouse infestation? Nobody's that mental. That's it for now. Have fun! I mean, we're literally here to investigate the accidents. It would make sense that someone's fucking bringing in mice to chew up cables and shit. I don't know. 